Thank you for tuning into Top EVT. This is me Jamie. Welcome to video 19 of our series for successful entrepreneurship and in this video we will be looking at how to set your calendar right. If you can set your calendar right, you will be able to free up a lot of time and that will make you more efficient. You only have so much time in a day and the efficiency of time will help you free up more time to do more things. So you will be able to do much more in a day if you are efficient with your time. So this is a skill worth learning. Let's get into the video. If you haven't watched the previous videos, I would suggest watching those first for context and then you can come here. And if you have not subscribed, subscribe to the channel because I will be uploading a new video in this series every day. Let's get into the topic. If my voice is sounding a bit gruffy today, it's because I am a bit sick. But I'm still at the office, I'm still working and that's what we do as business people, that's what we do as entrepreneurs. So how do you set your calendar up so that you can get more productivity in a day? First I will tell you how not to set your calendar. Many people set their calendars up so tight that they don't have a minute of breathing room and that in turn makes it so hard for them to follow their calendar that eventually they stop following their own calendar. Another mistake that people do is they don't know how to accommodate any kind of unexpected emergencies or unexpected events into the calendar. So one unexpected event comes and their calendar is totally messed up. They don't know what to do and they're running all over the place and eventually they stop following their calendar because of this. Understand that ca uh, keeping a calendar is more than just setting up a calendar and you know keeping it to the last minute and ho hoping that magically you will be able to follow it that's not how it works i'll show you how i set my calendar and this has worked for me for the past one and a half years it should work for you also if you are more busy than this then you might need to actually tighten the schedule a bit more but this is what works for me and this is what I find more efficient than just scheduling it to the last minute and that doesn't give any lean room for any emergencies or anything of that sort. Let me open up my calendar and this isn't actually my calendar, I'm just showing you a mock calendar on iCal. I, I have my own calendar on iCal and that's what I use but to hide the identities of all the people who I work with and especially the people who I'm going to meet on a particular day I don't want to show that then for my privacy reasons and there also so let's get into it now first thing that you have to understand is for home and work either you can manage two calendars or what I would suggest is keeping priority cards for home because home is very lucid where your uh, time is very lucid you don't know exactly what will happen and a lot of unexpected events come up so for home it's better you keep a to-do list or a priority cards that will actually work better and if you are maintaining calendar for your home keep it on a separate page don't keep it on the same calendar that you follow for your work Keep your work calendar and home calendar separate. The reason for this is if you have an event in the evening, suppose if there is a party in the evening, every time you look at your calendar, you are only going to see the party in the evening and even though you might be working at that time, every time you open the calendar, you are getting distracted. Part of your mind is getting distracted at that time. So that's not good. Now I'm sharing my screen with you. You can see that first event that I'm showing is wake up and get ready. That doesn't mean you're waking up at that exact time. That means you have already done your morning ritual and all of those things that you have to do to get yourself ready for the office and that one hour is your deadline to get ready and go to the office. 30 minutes is the time that I've allocated for drive. But I've actually left 15 minutes gap before that and even after that that 15 minute gap before the drive that is for you to accommodate any unexpected things so that will help you to accommodate unexpected things next you have a 15 minute gap before so you're reaching your office at least 15 minutes earlier that is left on purpose 
you need time to actually adjust for any of things that you're doing there that day schedule you need to check it out you need time to actually set your workspace all of these things that you can do at that time next is the you're actually having a meeting 10 a.m. sharp you are having a meeting so after 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. I have kept it for the meeting but after that meeting also you can see a five minute gap that is left on purpose if suppose the meeting got, got delayed for some reason or there is something that you need to talk about more and you need some more space there or you have a phone call anything like that that can be accommodated in those five minutes next you have the next meeting the next meeting is a meeting with the directors now this meeting again I have left 15 minutes gap after that meeting that's because maybe there is more to discuss on that or there could be more things that I have to process after that more important meeting so I have left more time for that and make sure that you leave some time in the morning you are leaving these, much, these gaps in the morning to accommodate any unexpected things what if you have a phone call from some important thing or some crisis happens you need to focus your attention to that that is the time you are going to use for this the next thing the next meeting is a management meeting so after this you are having your management meeting again the same thing you are leaving some time 15 minutes for that extra the reason I am leaving a 15 minute gap before the lunch time is because any unexpected thing I can accommodate there if there is more of a crisis or something happens in that context I can actually postpone my lunch a bit because I have kept an entire hour for lunch I might not need that much time so this is how you play with your time the next thing you do is you have again a meeting with the creative team at 2 p.m. you can see again this is a one and a half hour meeting and I have kept 15 minutes again gap for whatever the uh, unexpected things or maybe if I need more time in that same meeting or I need some time to reflect some time to uh, you know for a breather or anything on that sort you can actually get it done in that time next you have your meeting with the CEO so you have time to prepare for that even before you know in this gap that you have if nothing unexpected happens and all of these things are good then you have that gap to prepare for it so you won't be unoccupied next is you have okay uh, after this you are actually complete with your day but I have left 15 minutes I found that 15 minutes should be more than enough to set up your next work day if you require more time than that allocate more time for that this is the time that you're going to set up your next work day and you're going to uh, polish out all the things that you're going to do this will actually get your mind prepared even before you know when you're driving home your mind will be working for the next day for the preparation for the next day and next day when you come all you have to do is just go into your schedule and automatically all of those things all of those thoughts will be ready and your mind has already processed it that's the reason why are doing it now and not the next day many people do it you know the first thing in the morning when they go to the office you have to do it you know the previous day ending that is the best thing that works for me and I've seen that increases my productivity a lot this is how you set up your calendar and I think this should work for you or any of any of the people if you have any problems you might have to if you have more unexpected events in your day you might have to increase the time that you allot for unexpected events so the gaps can be bigger but that's the only thing that you might have to do if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comments below if you have any topic requests leave them in the comments below as well like share subscribe this has been Jamie for Top EVT. I'll see you in the next video